PolitiWhoops was a Twitter account that would basically post deleted tweets of politicians. Now they did this in order to hold politicians accountable for something that they might have posted and then regretted and then deleted later. They didn't post things that had grammatical errors or spelling errors. It was all about making sure that elected officials were held accountable for what they were doing. Now unfortunately, Twitter has decided to shut PolitiWhoops down, not only in the United States, but 30 other countries. Now these sites are dedicated to archiving deleted tweets from politicians around the world, not just the United States, and it's actually overseen by the Open State Foundation, which promotes digital transparency. Now, Twitter gave an interesting reason for why they made this decision. They didn't say that they did this because they want to side with the politicians. They're just interested in protecting the features that everyone gets to enjoy, according to them. Here's what they had to say. Imagine how nerve-wracking, terrifying even, Twitter would be if it was immutable or irrevocable. No one user is more deserving of that ability than another. Indeed, deleting a tweet is an expression of the user's voice. Now, I don't know if I'm really buying this, and there are a bunch of other experts who completely disagree with Twitter's decision. Arjan El Fazad or Fazed uh, said the same thing. He says, what politicians say in public should be available to anyone. This is not about typos, but it is a unique insight on how messages from elected politicians can change without notice. Now, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Uh, we talked about this a little bit on the Young Turks, and I completely disagree with Twitter's decision to do this. Yes, maybe they're very worried that people will no longer use Twitter if they think that something might come back and bite them in the ass later, but the reality is Twitter won. Everyone Everyone needs a Twitter account, especially if they're a public figure. And when it comes to politicians, what they post online says a lot about them. And if they post something without thinking about it first, I think that that shows a weakness in their leadership, and they should be held accountable for anything that they put up on a very, very public forum. Also, this extends to everyone in certain ways, because regardless of what you think, if you post something online and then later delete it, it's very, very likely that that will still exist some way, somehow. So no one's really protected after deleting tweets, even if Twitter says that they offer that feature. What do you guys think about this? Charlie, make your point. I think this is totally inexcusable on Twitter's um, part. I mean, Twitter was a great thing and still is for journalists and for politicians to state their point. Mm -hmm. But if you give politicians the option to remove that, uh, that just that eliminates a, pool, uh, a tool uh, to hold them accountable. Because if they remove a tweet that they may not agree with anymore, well then you want to follow the money and yeah. see who donated to their campaign if you want to get that uh, cynical about it, which a lot of people do and should, to be honest. Um, I, don't, I don't know what they gain from this. I, I feel like they're, they should have more um, support in the journalism side of things than the political side of mm -hmm. things. Uh, I just... You know, they have stagnant growth uh, right now, and I don't think this is going to help it. So, Good point. Francis. Yeah, exactly. Yours. I'm just going to piggyback on that. It's the same thing I was going to say, but it's typical that it's politicians that this has happened with. I mean, they would fall out of a window and go up the way. There's just no way that someone, like, they're not held accountable for things that they do in everyday life as it is. And now when you've got such a, uh, a social universe such as Twitter, well, the, you should be held accountable for what you say. I totally agree with what you're saying, Anna, not just from a political standpoint, from, but from anyone. If you feel confident enough that you're going to make an opinion, you have to stand by that opinion at one right. point. And typos and everything aside, yeah, you can go and delete and retweet it back. But if you're going to say something that, might, that means a lot to certain people who are, who are hanging on your every word to maybe help them economically or help them politically, then you need to be prepared to stand by that statement and not delete it when things maybe change down the future. So I agree. I think this is really shady on Twitter's part. Absolutely. Well, here's the personal question for the story. Have you ever posted something to social media that you later regretted? Francis, I'll start with you. I did. I, I think I was in college and I was just getting sick of the Kardashians, right? Uh -huh. And I posted this massive, long rampage on, on Facebook about, like, ah, I just can't believe they make money doing this. But I came to Kardashian sex ate this. And then when I came into the Young Turks, one of the first, like, red carpets I was supposed to do was supposed to be with, uh, I think it was Kendall and Kylie Jenner there. And I was like, oh, shit. I'm just going to have to ask him, like, normal, everyday questions, even though I just completely ragged on them. So I That's that was one. That's hilarious. Charlie, yeah. what about you? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure I've had some, some tweets. I mean, I've been on since 2008, so there's a lot of time in there to make yeah. some mistakes. Don't go digging through my account. But, <laughs> um, no, I think, like, when you're watching uh, the, the debates or whatever and you just rattle off some joke that you're like, oh, that was so funny. <laughs> like, I did Ted Cruz and put a picture of Grandpa Munster next to him. Oh like, how that looks. But then you go on Twitter and you, like... It, everybody else has already done it, and you're like, okay. <laughs> That's not the worst Bummer. thing yeah. in the world, though. Um, I actually had a terrible social media situation last night. 
So Karamo, oh, who's been great. on the show quite a bit, um, tweeted me with a, like a screenshot of what appeared to be Drake's Twitter account. And it appeared that Drake had tweeted about a TYT clip that we did uh, regarding these two guys in Boston who beat up a homeless Latino man. And like I lost my shit because I'm a huge Drake fan and I like... My boyfriend was taking a shower at the time. I started <laughs> screaming when I saw it. And Karamo is someone I trust. So I was like, Karamo's not going to steer me in the wrong direction, right. right? So I immediately thought, okay, it's definitely Drake. I'm losing my mind. I'm screaming. Boyfriend's like frightened. He thinks that there's something wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, nothing's wrong. It's just that Drake tweeted a TYT clip. He's like, oh my God, whatever. And um, there was actually one point in the night where I was laying on the couch and I told him, you know, I never really thought there was a moment in your career where you feel like you've made it but I think this is the night, right? <laughs> Later on, I found out that it was a Drake parody account. Oh, no. It wasn't Drake's account. And the reason why I'm saying it was a terrible social media situation is because I had screenshotted it and I shared it on every oh, social media man. platform. I was so happy and then later on people were like, uh, that's a parody account. Was it verified? I was so embarrassed. Was no, I'm an idiot. But that's the thing. When, when something like that happens, you get so excited that you don't even want to verify it. You just want to be like, yeah, Drake's totally into me. We're going to get married tomorrow. Anyway, I deleted those tweets because I felt like a clown. But a lot of people did screenshot them, so I'm sure you can find it. Uh, nice. Anyway, tell us what you guys think. Share your worst social media meltdown situation, what have you. And also, what do you think about Twitter's decision to get rid of Whoops? Maybe you think that it's a good idea. Maybe you think everyone should enjoy the feature of deletion. Tell us what you think. Comment in the section below, and we'll see you soon.